So high blood pressure is the leading attributable risk factor for cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, and premature mortality globally. There are about 1 billion people with high blood pressure right now, and this number is projected to increase to 1.5 billion by the year 2025. This problem is especially relevant to South Asia for a variety of reasons. One, because South Asians are particularly susceptible to high blood pressure itself and complications from high blood pressure, like heart disease and kidney disease. These diseases occur about five to six years earlier in South Asians than in other populations. Also, our studies are showing that in South Asia, the vast majority of people with high blood pressure have uncontrolled blood pressure. So about you know two and three people who have hypertension have uncontrolled blood pressure. Worse still, many of these people with high blood pressure also have other comorbidities like diabetes, they are obese, and have other risk factors. Um, and it's a multifactorial problem, sure. So you, um, uh, it needs to be treated because of the high risk of complications. So these people are consuming high salt diets, are, there's increased um, sedentary activities, reduced physical exercise, um, they're smoking, um, and diets are making them more obese. And it's uh, the environment is such that um, more and more foods that are obesogenic um, are available in the environment. Uh, so I think these factors need to be addressed, but also the health systems, you know, which is a very, very important thing that can be addressed, um, is that health systems have been conventionally focused on infectious diseases and have neglected um, chronic diseases, which are now become very, very important. Um, so drugs, antihypertensive drugs, um, are scarcely available, and when they are available, they are not, patients are not either identified or not prescribed. Uh, so it's a multifactorial issue. Um, so we are um, the Wellcome Trust, UKMRC, and DFIT sponsored trial. There's a COBRA BPS trial, which has been sponsored, and we are conducting them, at, coordinated at the Duke and U.S. Medical School in Singapore and being conducted in Bangladesh, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. And this trial is evaluating multi-component uh, strategies through the health systems in these three countries and using community health workers who go door to door, monitor blood pressure, and, um, and then um, use family-based home health education on lifestyle um, advices and health promotion. So at working with the families on reducing um, um, dietary sodium, weight management, uh, reducing dietary saturated fats, uh, increasing physical activity, smoking cessation, and adherence to antihypertensive medications. And then referring these patients who have high blood pressure to the physicians, training physicians in the communities on updated blood pressure management, setting up referral networks um, and pathways for hypertension care, and then thereby reducing cardiovascular risk and kidney disease risk, and also identifying thereby, you know, the broader cardiovascular risk um, um, in, in these populations, because all of this, most of the health education is family-based. So we've tested this in the three countries, including Bangladesh, and what we've seen is it's very feasible um, has been tried in the Munshi Ganj and the Tangil districts, so two districts in Bangladesh, and very, very feasible. We're working with the ICDDRB and Dr. Alia Nahid is the, uh, is the site principal investigator in Bangladesh, We're working with them. So we've shown that these strategies work very well in the three countries, and now are uh, being ready to scale up. All these strategies, we've built a lot of capacity there. Um, the now the next step is a scaling up, uh, which is very much aligned with the WHO and other agencies' mission to control and implement programs for uh, uh, non-communicable disease prevention. I think the Hypertension Forum, which is being held in Bangladesh right now, is very timely on occasion of the World Hypertension Day to discuss with the partners and the key stakeholders how these strategies uh, can be scaled up. And we look forward uh, to the discussions that will be held there and to feedback uh, how uh, when we have regional discussions uh, across South Asia because the health systems are so similar. So all my best wishes. Thank you very much.